It is definitely a player need we are aware of and want to fulfill. Hello from Antarctica? I mean, I wish that were true. That'd be cool if it were true. Vietnam, nice. Europe is actually up at these hours. Yeah, that's actually why I started streaming at these hours. It was like, you can get Europe and uh, NA. So, yep, Israel, nice. I was trying to be more global thinking. Will there be free arena reward in 5.5? I don't believe there's a free one. I don't believe. Oh yeah, it's 5 a.m. here right now. So, is this Hellions? Please don't get a first today, or your client is gonna self explode again. God damn it. Force a trait cannoneer. All right, we'll see if I hit any cannoneers. Again, cannoneers very contested, so we'll see what I can do though. What do you think, viewer games in two hours? I was thinking closer to three, but we'll see. Will we get old Little Legend summoner icons back? That one. Yeah, I know I know we need to bring that back for a very small pe group of people, but yeah. Okay, there's the four Hellion start. And I think we do this to have a very strong start. Okay. It's not looking like a cannoneer game, but we'll see. I gotta take these off the playlist at some point. That guy's got Draconic already and a two-star Poppy. All right, just when you think you're doing well, somebody else is doing better. Sad. Sad. I made a carry poppy and lost only the three-star Mordekaiser. Nice. Oh wait, we won the fight. Sweet. Alright, I guess we're going defensive start. Any plans on adding 5-6 Cavalier? The only way I would add 5-6 Cavalier at this point is if we changed it from flat VR to, uh, to like, armor and MR. That way you could actually shred it and there'd actually be counterplay. At 5 and 6 with the flat DR, there's just no counterplay, so... Is being completely free to play struggle the team to gaining money for the game? I mean, on the Riot side, they definitely want us to try to make more. It's not like we're not making any, um, but we definitely need to come up with new inventive ways to generate revenue, that is for sure. Ooh, good cannon ult. I like how Hellion is 2468, feels better than 357. Yeah, especially for openers. Three-piece openers are always challenging. I think we just greet it here. Give us merch? Yeah, no kidding. Not seeing any Tristanas, though. Let's see what he got here. There's a Tristana player. There's another Tristana player. Morning, everybody. What do you think is going to be the new miss thing of this set? New miss thing? What does that mean? Live at 5 a.m.? Yeah, I know. I know. Don't don't question it.
By the way, I put Sunfire on Kled specifically because he'll drop aggro once, which means the Sunfire will apply to more things. Uh, we won the coin flip, actually. So that feels pretty good. Cool. Alright, someone did a add song to playlist. What do we got here? Isn't this already... Wow, it's not. Okay. It's on the playlist now. Hell yeah. Sweet. 9 p.m. here in Tokyo. Perfect wind down stream. Nice. Hey, Pubbles. Morning, Mort. Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to thank you and the team for continuing our work. I played a few games on PB and really enjoying it. Nice. That was the idea. What is the most OP scream in TFT history now? Daisy, Justice, Feathers Fly. I think it's Feathers Fly. Feathers Fly was so good. Okay, if I win this, by the way, I should consider selling Ziggs. Yeah. I think we sell Ziggs here. Oof. Do, do, do. Let's hold on to all this. It's a good song. Uh, Boomer APM Keck W. Appreciate the five months. Take out Poppy for Lulu? No, no. Need Frontline. Uh oh, that's a two star Triss. We could lose this. No, went the wrong way. Pretty sure we lose this. Oh, Kled. Wait. He jumped to Kled. Oh, it helped us. Oh, God. Come on, Kled. Come on, Kled. Okay, Kled versus Triss. Who wins? Cavalier? Yes! Oh, my God. That was great. L Nanot 09. Appreciate the prime. Thank you. Hey Mort, you rock, hope you're having a good day. Please can you say, it's coming home to bring good luck for the lads today, thanks. It's coming home. There you go. What's best in slot items for brand carry? Blue buff, um, after that it gets pretty flexible, but I think it's Radiant Gunblade and then uh, Death Cap. So. Olaf seems garbage, he's really good in the early game, which is what a one cost should be. Um, for request game song, you have to give me the YouTube link, X0. So give me your points back. I don't have time to dig it up while I'm streaming. Okay, so now we have a hard choice to make. We haven't seen a single Tristana. Do we consider re-rolling, or is it level up and play something else? And I'm pretty sure here it's level up and play something else. So We have a lot of gold, though. Ionic Spark could be really good here, too. This might just be the full slam of defensive, offensive items. Are you excited to watch the mid-set finale? Will you be casting it? I will be casting on day one and day four. Good pennant ult. Nice. Kled doing work. When is Worlds? Not till like September. OK, 
Okay, so we need a Trist now. I might consider re-rolling a little bit here just to find one Trist. Problem solved. Mort Dog Play. Level 7, 6 Hellion. Problem is, everything's one star, but... With six Hellion, we have so much frontline that the Sunfire and the Ionic is going to do so much damage here. And this keeps the wind streak going, so... Yeah, look at that damage. Woo. And now we can start to consider some of the crazier stuff, like, do I want to play a Velkaz? Maybe. Maybe. Can I get a Galio from Draconic Egg before level 7? Yes, you can. You definitely can. Morello for Kennen? No, no, no. We already have Sunfire. We don't need Morello. Date when midset goes live, it's like July 21st. Yeah. Well, oh, that guy already has an Aphelios, though. If that Aphelios cast, it's gonna hurt. Ow. Aphelios into Hellion really hurt us here. Come on, Kled. Come on, Kled. Yes! Oh, thank God. Is Kled better as an offensive or defensive unit? The cool thing is he can work as both. So. Wait, this guy's at 99 health? Damn. Please tell me you at least pretend. Dude, I got sleep. I went to bed early. I went to bed early. I got sleep. I did. I'm not that tired. We're gonna grab the tier since we have the Velkaz. Teemo's another thing we're also considering about. So, uh, What would you say are the most standout divine items, such as most OP and underpowered so far? I mean, if you believe the data we have, the most underpowered is... Uh, sorry, what is it? Uh, Quicksilver, believe it or not. And the most overpowered was Trap Claw. So, th How did I fix the connection issue from yesterday? I had to reinstall. I uninstalled and reinstalled, and that fixed it. Alright, I think we're going to start losing rounds, though. I still have an entire one-star army except this Kled. Yeah, this guy's level 7. Although his army is entirely one-star also except Kha'Zix, so we should win this. But We're starting to get pretty weak, though. Unless I hit some two-stars. How is the data for Radiant Quicksilver on melee carries like Jackson Nocturne? Uh, we haven't checked specific carries. The data, the sample size is too small at that point. So. All right. I wonder if it's Gunblade here. It's either Gunblade or Locket. What do you think? Gunblade or Locket? First one to answer. I'm going to take it. I see Locket. Alright. the Yasuo? No, we let Yasuo stack too long. Alright, well, we lost our win streak. That's okay.
We're still level 740 gold. He's level 630 gold, so, you know. The question is, what are we actually running as our carry here? It's not this. It's not this. Although I should have kept the Kled to possibly move the items on to Rel here. Alright, well now I just don't have any offensive items, so this might have been a giant, giant mistake. Hmm. Hmm. Is there any reason you can earn Sentinel Point? I assume you mean can't. Uh, in Spider-X, I don't know. It, it seems like the Sentinel event made some different design decisions than I would, uh, I would have recommended, so... Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, good Lulu ult. Get the... Oh, almost got the Trist. Not quite, though. Yeah, now we're just suffering from lack of damage, so... Damn it, and the Trist healed up. No. All right, well, like I said, at this point, we have enough health. Our goal is to Bloth Streak here. It's on the League team? Yeah, the League team did that entire event. I don't need another Sunfire. Oh, God, this is awful. We are in trouble. The fact that I have no damage. Can I check shielding amount? Sure. There you go. Hmm. Is Casper Ophelios live? It's on PBE. What am I playing this game? I mean, I'm using Hellion to get to late game to get a four cost carry like Velkaz. Or maybe if we get lucky, a Teemo, a Gwen. Gwen with these items would not be the worst if we could get like a blue buff. So. Problem right now is we just don't have damage, so. Go, Kled, go. Hey, welcome, Ikea Trash. Uh, we'll go one more round here, then we'll level up and roll down. So. And that might be when we get out of Six Hellion. Or, like I said, if we get lucky and hit a Teemo. Are you satisfied with the strength level of divine items? Yeah, so far I am. They're very transformative. Oh, that's that really strong Zyra. If you ever Zyra 3s that, we'll be very scared of that thing. Do you have advice for a fresh graduated project manager candidate? Um, advice on what specifically are you looking for? Alright, like I said, blue buff wouldn't be bad here. I kind of want the tier. Rod would be good for like any damage on our actual carry. Um, we could get this for Hodge and run a Heimerdinger for a while. Kled has immunity frames during his dismount? Yep, he sure does. And if it's all none of that, then it ends up being... Okay, we got the blue buff at least. So we're kind of hoping for a Teemo.
That was three diddlies, by the way. Mr. Ziggs. Because now what we can do is take out the Kled, and we can start working our way out of uh, out of Hellion here. So let's take out the Kled, take out the, not the Ziggs, take out the Kennen, put in some other stuff, and now we can start getting going here. Okay, sweet. Which means I can sell the cannon for Econ, and now let's just worry about leveling up our Econ. Why does 5.0 Ladder decide who gets to play Worlds, which will be set 5.5? Because there's not really a better way to do it, to be honest. I'll move Ziggs in a minute. Alright, well we have zero damage items though, so that's the unfortunate thing here. And I have five Hellions, so I can get rid of Triss. Might be this. Yeah, might be this. Alright, uh, I should probably sell Galio to hit new econ. Good Belkov's ult. Nice and juicy. Hopefully we can get one more. Nice. Cool. Alright, we're in a good spot. What triggers first time at the beginning of the battle? Legionnaire bonus or uh, Zeke's Herald? I mean, they, they're additive, so it really doesn't matter. Do I buy these two Viegos? Because blue buff Viego is not bad. Like, it's probably better than Heimerdinger here. Okay. Oh yeah, we're definitely pivoting into full legendary. I mean, that's kind of how... 5.5 is definitely... If challenger players aren't happy with this, I don't know how to please them, but... It's definitely a lot more like early game into late game forecasts this set, for sure. Good Lulu ult. Unfortunately, we're not targeting the auction, so we definitely lose this fight. All right. No biggie. Why can't I upgrade pass on PBE? Because it's not out yet. Guys, it's PBE. Stuff doesn't come out right away. That's how it works.
So now the question is, do we get rid of two more Hellions? One, two. For something like Mystic, Redeemed. Yeah, Mystic, Redeemed would be good if we can find a Lux, which I probably passed and chat can go, oh my god, he missed it earlier. Um, yeah. I think for now, though, we have enough health that even if we lose every single match till here, we can just greet it to here. So. Oh, good Lulu ult. Good Lulu ult, maybe? Nope, that shield. The Sentinel shield. Damn it. See, Zen QQ got me. You missed the Lux. I mean, Jeweled Gauntlet would give us some actual damage. Hodge would give us healing. Either one's fine, to be honest. Assassin, Assassin would have also been decent. Well, we didn't get anything we were hoping for. Damn. Damn. Assassin Gwen would have been really good, actually. Oh, hey, it's Teemo. Do I buy this? Yeah, I'll buy this. Million dollar question here. Swap Velkaz for Teemo. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's a ton of gold. It's Hellion. No way? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Well, certainly not going to help with the Trap Claw. See, I think this is better, but... Oh! Close. Close. Maybe? Wait! Teemo? Teemo? Oh! Teemo! Yeah, I can take out a Ziggs now. You're right. Whew. Are the eggs dropping Galio now? Yes. Yes. Okay, well that's not good. <laughs> we each stole each other's carries. But he's got that Akshan. That Akshan hurts. Alright, who wins this? Can Garen and Rel kill an Akshan? Get him! Get him! Yes! Amazing. Alright, well the good news is we're going to have a lot of gold. Bad news is that item sucks. Well, he's never hitting level 9, so we should be stronger by the end here. This should be a first. Why was the number of unique three costs reduced from the mid set? I think you said you'd give insight in one of your patch rundowns, but I couldn't find it. Uh, like I said, we wanted having the three costs be as hard to two star as the one costs didn't quite feel right, so we wanted to try to uh, try to change that. Sorry, I'm trying to roll down here. Viego, Ivern, here have an Ivern, Timo, Bolibear, Bolibear for this for now. Emo 2, Ivern 2, and I'm sure I'm messing something up here.
I don't know, this seems pretty good. Anytime you guys want to kill the Lucian though, that'd be good. Anytime you guys want to like actually target the Lucian, that'd be that'd be swell. Thank you. Whoa, Lorenzo boy, appreciate these seven gift subs. Thank you. Very kind. Okay, million dollar question here is do I ever play Heimer? And I think the answer is yes. If I two star it, I do. He's mostly magic damage, so we do want Mystic in. Okay. Yeah, putting the inanimate near Teemo here is really good, so no complaints there. The fact that we have Bramble on Rel means Lucian can't really touch it. So, this is feeling like a pretty solid first place. Whew! Morning, Ramblin'. I think, if anything, it's like take out Viego for uh, another Mystic would be the play. Like, go full defensive here. But... Keck. Do we go for Team 3? Do I have enough health for Team 3? 1836? If I never lost again, I could. Heimer greater than Jax? Uh, the Ironclad is still worth here. There is a lot of physical damage on this, so I'm not sure that that's true. Heimer's not really... I'm not really lacking damage here. I don't want to die to the burst here, so... I think, actually, I'd go more defensive and I would not play Heimer. Alright, Teemo on Carousel? No Teemo? Oh, wait. <laughs> no, we definitely take Mystic here. For sure. I mean, Mystic or Ironclad were both good. But... Oh, hey, another Gwen. And a redemption. Let's see here, three Mystic. I don't know, this feels pretty good. And like I said, Teemo being protected by the inanimate here just means he gets to cast forever and ever. So, I can't imagine we lose this. Ooh, it's a first. Good way to start the day, GG.